Animal Crossing is one of Nintendo's most popular franchises, and each installment is praised as one of the best games on its respective console. And then there's City Folk. This one is so frequently considered a step back for the series, and many consider it to be the worst one. And after playing it myself to see if this has any truth to it, I've discovered that yeah, it does. The original Animal Crossing laid the groundwork for the series and is an incredibly fun game in its own right. It's not perfect and could use some improvements, but that's where Wild World comes in, expanding on just about everything while allowing you to take your town with you on the go, which made playing the game every day way easier. Then City Folk comes around and ties the experience back down to the couch, which is the biggest drawback and why many consider it a step back. It didn't expand on the DS entry that much and required you to sit at home to play, so yeah, it's definitely the inferior game. That alone doesn't make it worse than the GameCube entry though, but being so similar to Wild World does and makes City Folk a pointless entry to return to, whereas the original offers a different feeling and unique Animal Crossing experience. And I don't think I have to bother arguing for New Leaf and New Horizons, they're both amazing games and massive steps forward for the series.